recently Roblox seems to have started some new promotion type thing amongst some prominent figures within the community regarding QR codes and layered clothing which already sounds funky enough on its own. But I noticed a few different people have started to point out flaws in this method that Roblox decided to use and we're talking problems that look like they could be kind of serious and as the title suggests, potentially very dangerous. Excuse the terrible and accidental pun, but there is a lot of layers to this and certainly there is a lot of digging to be doing. So very quickly, please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have ever played a game on Roblox before. So what is going on with the whole QR code situation? From what I can gather based on the people who are promoting this QR code from Roblox, it looks like they give this job to the members of the star program with the exception of news accounts like Bloxy News. I will say right now that the QR code directly from Roblox, this one is very legit and it's 100% safe. You know, the one that Bloxy News and all of these star creators keep tweeting or posting about. I think it goes without saying, but you can scan it and you can use it without having anything to worry about. Nothing about this one in particular is dangerous in any way, shape or form. If you have the app for Roblox installed on the device you're scanning the QR code on, all it does is open up the Roblox app and automatically add some VIP layered clothing into your inventory. The reason many people think this is a terrible idea and the way that things could potentially turn very dangerous as a result of using QR codes. I genuinely didn't even think about this until someone I know give light to these concerns. I don't know about the QR code thing Roblox is doing. Someone can create a QR code looking similar to the free VIP accessory one and use it to trick people into using it, potentially getting them cookie logged. Now, without going into too much unnecessary detail, I'm pretty sure getting cookie logged on Roblox would basically secure you losing your account. It would then become painfully easy for whoever cookie logged you to hack your account and obviously steal your account. It's very risky creating that QR code and sending it to everyone, especially since people can create their own QR code and send it to others saying, hey, Roblox just made this QR code, use it to get the VIP accessories. You are also risking getting doxxed, not a good idea. Once again, Roblox creating this QR code is not risky. It's not directly a problem, but it could definitely lead to some people creating their their own QR codes, obviously, with malicious intentions that look similar to the one that Roblox created and literally just go ahead and tell people it's going to give them free accessories just like the official one and that's basically the end of that. I imagine since this is very new and definitely not something we have ever seen before and especially a new method for Roblox. I, I think maybe people would end up falling for it very easily. Considering I didn't think of these risks myself and it was other people that I'm getting this information from, I don't understand too deeply how any of that would work, how you would get cookie logged or doxxed from using a QR code that somebody could create and have it look like the Roblox one. But I can understand that this is a very real risk and obviously could end up being a very dangerous thing to happen if anybody does do any of that and if this does get out of hand. One more time though, I will reiterate that the QR code from Roblox, the one that all of the big people in the Roblox community are tweeting, that is completely fine. It's very safe and there is no problems with you scanning that one. The only thing it's going to do is exactly what it was made to do and that is add the layered clothing into your inventory. Please do not worry about that and do not think that Roblox themselves are trying to do anything to harm anyone because that is not the case. However, the funny thing here is that in reply to one of the star program people, someone mentioned apparently this is a cookie logger, which it's not. I think that was just maybe information about this that somehow got mixed up along the way. The star creator responded with their own concerns. 
I know it looks really sketchy, I don't know why they didn't just make it a promo code to be honest, but it's a legit QR code which Roblox emailed to star creators. So you know, it's a very strange method to be using when your own star creators are bringing up how sketchy it might seem to some people. They did make a great point though, talking about how they have no idea why Roblox didn't just make it a promo code because that is all they have ever done. Every single time Roblox wants to give away something to free, like some kind of a free accessory or a free gear, free clothing, anything that they have ever given to the community before, was through a promo code, which was very easy. They would just have people talk about it in a video or tweet about it, or even Roblox themselves would tweet a promo code. And all you had to do from there is go and redeem it on the Roblox website. Just type that code in, press redeem, and then it would go into your inventory. So. I genuinely have no idea why they are now suddenly changing from the very easy method that was the promo codes that they have always done ever since Roblox pretty much first became a thing to now not only something that takes a little bit more effort, a little bit more work to go through with scanning the QR code, making sure you have Roblox installed on the device that you're scanning it on. Plus, like many people keep mentioning, this new method could potentially open doors to allow people to create their own QR codes with the intentions being something malicious, being something negative, basically not trying to give you free VIP accessories just like Roblox is doing with their own QR code. So one more time just to end out this video the roblox qr code the one that all of these star creators are sharing the one that bloxy news tweeted about very safe very legit you can go ahead and scan it right now i can scan it right now it's completely fine 100 percent fine all i'm saying with this based on the information that other people seem to also be sharing is just be careful, exercise caution, of course. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the support that you guys give me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. But make you think of a Roblox doing a new QR code method that could end up being very dangerous. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.